All right. Hey, what's up guys and girls? It's the Oracle Ball here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to sidechain inside FL Studio. What is sidechaining and why it's important. Okay, so to get started, what is sidechaining? Well, sidechaining is, um, well, in electronic dance music is when it's basically volume automation. So when a kick and a snare hit, um, everything else that you want to duck down under the kick and the snare will be ducked down in volume wise just for a really quick period of time so the kick and the snare will stand out in your mix and it won't be muddied up and covered by everything um, everybody calls the side chain but the actual technical term is ducking because you're actually you know ducking the audio under the kick and snare um, and to show you how to sidechain and what it is really quick. I'm, I uh, created a sidechain bus here. So what is a sidechain bus? So um, I made a really quick sound, which is this. I'll make sure it gross beats off. I just made this quick sound for the tutorial and all it consists of is a harmer and a citrus. Harmer is that sound. And as you can see, the harmer is the sound, citrus is the sub and um, I linked both into the sidechain bus. How I did that is, well, when you start with the mixer channel, you can see it's already routed to the master. To change that, you turn it off by hitting the arrow above the gray arrow, and then you click on the sidechain bus on the gray arrow, and it links it into the sidechain bus, so it's just sending all your audio into the one mixer track. Uh, it's technically a mixture track, but I'm calling the bus because there's more than one thing going inside it, as you saw, is the harmer and the citrus. So now that we got stuff in the sidechain bus to duck under our kick and snare, and here's our kick playing. Just the basic uh, default FL kick. I, uh, we have our kick and bass, so we want to sidechain it, because without sidechain... You can tell the kick, it's kind of muddy already, and the bass just kind of drowns out the kick. So, since this is a house beat, I'm using gross beat here. Uh, gross beat's good for house because it goes in one measure, so there's four beats. And I go to the, em the empty and the orange side because the orange side is volume, and this changes volume, as you can see. I'll loop this. And there's other stuff in here you can see. Like, you can use it as a gator. It's basically just like a looping uh, volume automation. And you can jump in between boxes and other stuff. But right here we're just using it for sidechain. I went in the empty tab and I drew in some ducking for the kick with it. So when the kick hits, the audio ducks down and it comes back up. As you can see there. And... Yeah, that's really all there is to it. You just literally put the gross beat on the in mixer track in the bus, and you do that. And if you want to turn off the side chain or less side, side chaining going on, you can automate this knob right here, or the mix level It'll do the same thing. Of and uh, you could just like turn down. I'll turn this down because it's a little loud. You can turn this knob, and the side chaining is not as strong. And now you turn it all the way, it's back and hitting hard. And why that can be useful is, uh, say you have a buildup going on, and as it builds up and stuff's hitting faster, like the kick and the snare, and you can set up more uh, boxes in here with faster volume animation. So you could be doing eighth notes and whatever. I'm just doing random stuff. And, uh, as you do and draw that, as you make those, you automate this knob or the mix level knob to make the side chaining less hard because if you have the side chaining hitting as hard, like on the build up and or in faster, more rhythmical stuff is going on, it's going to like just mud out everything and all you're going to hear is the drums. So when there's more stuff going on, like rhythm rhythmical elements, you uh, automate the side chain to be less apparent so it's not completely taking over everything. Um, so that's how you side chain with gross beat. Now I'm gonna show you how to side chain with a limiter. And I'll make sure the limiter's on. Yeah. And turn off gross beat. Oh, gross beat's off, I turn off mix level, okay. So, 
to do this, uh, what I did is I created a ghost kick and a ghost snare. You might be wondering what that is. Well, all I do is I actually, I just go find a nice short sample, like a kick. And then I turn the uh, out down because I don't want it too long. Because even though it'll be as long as my kick, you'll see why this is more important when we get into side chaining with the limiter, why it's better for it to be shorter. And you don't worry very how it sounds. So what you do is when you have a kick and you make it nice and short, you put it in a mixer track. I'll call it ghost kick so we know what it is, or I'll call it the second one because we already have one. And then you link it to the side chain bus. And now once you have it here, um, you can see it's sending audio into the sidechain bus uh, to keep it from doing next. We don't want it to send audio. It's a ghost. It's invisible. We're not going to hear it. But what it's going to do is once we turn the audio all the way down, just like that, it's sending information. And we can see it's playing here, so it's working. But because we turn all the audio off as we send it into the mixer track, all it is doing is sending information. And why that is important is I'll show you right here. I'll turn off this quick kick quick and I'll put four here. You can see no side chain. I'll put up a new limiter so I can show you. And now once you open up a limiter you go to the compression side. You right click on side chain and find the, uh, what you named it and you click on it. Once you do that there's still nothing happening. What you want to do then is pull down the threshold knob. Once you pull it down a bit, uh, turn up the knee. As you can see, I turned the head off so it hits right away and they pulled the release back so it's not as uh, long. You can adjust it by messing with the release knob and also with the curve down here. Mess with your threshold, knee, release, and curve, and the attack as well. You can mess with that in the head. But the main things that really help you shape your side chain is to mess with the release, the curve, the ratio, or the knee here, and the threshold. So that's how you do it with the, the limiter. Let's see, I got a ghost kick here. And then here, I have the same concept, but with a dubstep beat. Uh, let's just turn this guy off. So what's going on here is, as you can see, I got a ghost kick and a ghost snare. I'll turn it back on. Uh, the snare is actually the same sample as the kick. I just made it even shorter, because uh, when you sidechain a snare, it's, it tends to be a lot shorter than when you sidechain a kick, because... Um, the kick is deeper and fatter, and if you had that fat of a side chain, when a snare hit, it would just sound really empty and bad. <clears throat> so I'll show you uh, that it's routed again to the side chain bus, both of them with the audio off. And then you go in a limiter, you can see, I right click here, it's on ghost kick. You can see the side chain the kick and the snare. And you do the same thing as I showed you earlier, where you just mess with the release, the curve, ratio, threshold, and all that. All that good stuff to shape your side chain to how you want it to fit. It all depends on the samples you use, the song you're making. So it's never going to be the same settings. You always got to mess around and find what you're looking for. All right, and uh, here's another way to go about side chaining. This one I really like because you can initially draw the shape of the side chain. Uh, what I'm using here is a fruity balance. You can find it, if you can't find it, in a mixer track here. When you go and click to add a plugin, if you can't find it, go to the plugins over here. Let's see, and you go to, let's close all these. You go to installed, go to effects, VST, and there it is, fruity balance, and you drag it in. So that's that. So now once you get the fruity balance in, what you do is you right click on the volume knob, create automation clip. And then in here you can see I drew, the, this is the kick side chain and the snare side chain. So 
The reason why I like the Fruity Balance is because the Fruity Balance is such an old plugin. There's no smoothing inside of it. And what smoothing does is like it will, you see your automation on the computer screen here, but um, smoothing will actually make the automation you draw smoother so it's not as sharp. And because the Fruity Balance is so old and doesn't have built in smoothing, it is what you draw it as, so it's really sharp. That's why I like it. And then this next example, uh, what you can do here before I go on to the next example is uh, you can see you place it where you want it. So you just, you know, you can just place it anywhere, wherever you want in the mixer track. I mean, in the master track player or whatever you want to call it, different names. You can place it in there under where your kick and snare are. Or you can do what I like to do, which I'll show you in this next example. It's, I'm using the same method. What I did here is I created a layer, and the layer plays the kick and the sidechain automation at the same time. So I don't have to draw it and put it in every spot. And plus, I, why I like this is because uh, if you... To me, if you place the automation within the track master track player playlist thing, um, you tend to want to copy and paste because you get lazy because you get bored of editing your patterns and then placing the automation in the right spot under it. Well, when you have a layer and it plays both at the same time, you don't have to worry about putting in the automation because it's playing it with the kick already. And to make to set up a layer, all you have to do is you go to the Add More Plugins and you select Layer, if I can find it. There it is. And I'm going to rename this Sidechain, or, or Kick Layer. I already have Kick Sidechain. And then once I do that, I, uh, I make sure I have it selected. Then I hold Left Shift, I'll click on the Kick, in the gray box to the right of it, and I'll click on the automation. And once I did that, I hit set children, and I go back to this, I hit it, and you can see it's doing the side chain and the kick. So once you have that set up, uh, or wait, if you don't know how to find your automation, you're gonna be stuck in this menu. If you go up here in this black box and go to all, it'll show you everything. So you can find your kick and uh automation if you're not if you're having trouble finding your automation so once you have that set up all you do you go to the layer and you can actually just draw in what you want to what you want it to play and it's automatically side chaining for you and there you have it there's a uh, different ways you can go about side chaining in fl studio uh, the, these are the basic ways and the ways that work um Here's a little trick I want to show you before you go off and go into your sidechain happiness. Let's see. This is the kick layer. So this is what I was talking about earlier when you want to lower the sidechain amount. What you can do here if you're using the balance is you go and right click on the minimum knob and create automation clip. And once you did that, you draw less side chain and remember that 80 percent will be max volume well if you go above 80 percent it's going to push the volume over because the fruity balance max level output when you put it in is 80 percent like 80 percent is the same as 100 like when audio comes in. if you push it up it's going to be louder so try not to go above 80 when you do this keep it below um but as you can see with this now it's not side chaining as hard, so it's not drowning out the build up as much. Um, so that's how you do it with the balance, is the way of going about that. But to do it with, like, if you're using the limiter, let's just cut this and take the kick. Oh, by the way, you can actually, let's actually use this. I'm gonna take this layer. Uh, you can also layer the ghost kick and the kick together. So to do the same thing as I did with the balance, the automation. So this layer is now the ghost kick. I'll go turn on that limiter again. 
And to do this with the limiter, just loop this quick. If I can find it, there it is. You automate the threshold. And it's going to be very touchy. So what you can do is you turn the max down like about halfway. Just to uh, make it easier to uh, draw your automations. You can see it's already too much. I could turn this down even like 25% around that area. And you can see the side chain gets less weaker. You actually can see it visually. And that helps for like build up some more rhythmical things going on. And yeah, so those are basic ways to side chain. And you can use whatever's more comfortable for you. And yeah, I hope this helps. Um, and right now, if you're wondering why side chain is important, why you should even bother doing this, I'm going to load up one of my songs right now and show you uh, the difference between side chain and without side chain. All right, I loaded up my track here, Moonlight Grotto, that I released February 24th on my Bass Elixir EP. Um, and this is the second drop on the track. So I'm going to play it for you. And bear with me, it's going to be a little leggy because the project's really huge. I'm going to play it for you and what it sounds like so you can hear it. And this, the side chain will be on. Um, and then after you hear it with the side chain so you know what it sounds like and what you're used to hearing. I'll play it without side chain so you can hear the difference. So here it is with side chain and bear with me on the leg. And this might be a little loud. And so in three, two, one, I'll play the track. All right, in three, two, one, go. Okay, that's what it sounds like normally. Now I'm gonna go to the side chain bus. I'm gonna turn off the side chain, which is the balance. All right, so now I'm gonna play it again without side chain so you can hear the difference. And I'll turn it on halfway through so you can hear the side chain come back on and you, you'll feel the difference, really. So here it is without side chain in three, two, one. So there you have it. 